author. My name's Don, and I want to thank you for joining me on my overland trip through Afghanistan for three weeks in late 1975. Enjoy. The route rolled by our heavy-duty truck tires lay from Iran over to Herat, north to mazar Sari, down to Kabul, stop over in Bamiyan, and then an exit into Pakistan by the Khyber Path. This is an Afghani Chai stop. We frequently stop at places like this to drink Afghani green tea. The sugar lumps were kept for one customer after another to use. Typical Afghani transport when I was there. Don't the children look cute? An Afghani wool merchant. Such scales were used in every shop for weighing produce, for charging. Here's an Afghani shoemaker working in a market. Another Afghani salesman. These Afghani wool skin coats were all the rage and were quite cheap to buy. We arrive at markets in Kabul. They're very interesting in the range of produce. Here are musical instruments and old Afghani guns. This is my friend Paul Machuk from Menmatin, Alberta, Canada. Here's an Afghani village well. Irrigation, Afghani style. These typical Afghani trucks are seen all over the country. This is David Self, a BBC photographer who traveled with us on our trip. He produced a one-hour BBC travel documentary called The Road to Kathmandu. At times, the scenery in Afghanistan is stunning, but always very arid and barren. It's not very good agricultural land, although they do grow cotton in areas. It suits the goats and camels and sheep. Along with the sheep herder, we get caught in a large sandstorm. This NASA photo from a satellite shows the size of some of these dust storms.
This is an Afghani market where they sell goats, sheep, and even camels the way we sell cars. Here a butcher slaughters a sheep for sale. This cotton picker salutes us as we drive by. This man is working as a carpenter in the village. This is the back of our truck as we stop for a quick rest and the locals look on with curiosity. This, this is the city of Bam, a large city that was totally destroyed by Gansas Khan in the 12th century. These mountaintop forts are common in Afghanistan, particularly in cities like Herat. Mosaics and magnificent mosques like this one in Mazar Sharif are common. Thanks, viewer, for joining me for this quick three-week tour overland through Afghanistan.